Well, hello, soul family. <laughs> Beautiful rising good afternoon and or lovely evening to you wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. <clears throat> Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is our daily chakra energy reading and today is Sunday. Sunday fun day. July 28th of 2024. So happy Sunday to all of you out there. I hope you are all doing so very well, so very marvelous, happy, successful, joyful, <laughs> blessed, and highly favored. <laughs> and all of that. So yes, happy Sunday. Oh my gosh, I'm in such a great mood. Um, Yeah, just... I feel like when we, yeah, just, yeah, really in a good mood. Anyways, so all of my readings are intended to be timeless, meaning whenever you have found this video is when you're meant to hear this message. So use your intuition to tune into what that message is for you. All right. So as I was saying, I'm in a super great mood. Um, and it's because I feel like, like the shift that I've been talking about that we're like all going through, however it applies to each one of you individually, this shift that we're going through, I feel like it's made like some major steps. So like some moving forward. And plus like right now we have like entered like the pre-shadow period for Lionsgate. And this year the energy of Lionsgate is 888 because 2024 is an eight year. It adds up to an eight. And, you know, of course, Lionsgate falls on eight, eight. So it's a triple eight energy, which eights are about abundance, man. It's all about like what you're putting out into the universe is coming back to you. You know, like what goes around comes around. Um, I don't know. This feels good. Okay. We're taking those though. And, uh, yeah, it feels free. And if you are being guided to um, shift out of someone's energy or to, you know, remove someone from your own energy, do it because uh, you will feel so much better afterwards. You will feel so much lighter because when we hold on to people or when we keep people in our lives who are not meant to be there, we are picking up unnecessary bags and carry an extra weight that we don't need to carry so and a lot of the times it's not even it's not our weight to carry so it's about us being able to get to a point where we see whether or not someone is a positive or if they are a heavy weight in our lives and you know make the necessary adjustments like adjust what we need to so all right, so we have a couple cards that came out here. So we have the secondary chakras, palms of the hands, the empty card. So the chakras of the hands, these are how we physically interact with the world. So like think about when you are a baby, like what do babies do? How do they learn how to like get to know things? They touch it. Yes, usually they like put it in their mouth. That's like the next thing, but like it's touch, right? So it's like you're grabbing things, you're trying to hold things. That's like one of the first things that we learn how to do is like how to use our hands, like reaching out for the world, getting the texture of it. So the so this affirmation is in regards also to the way that we feel the world, the way that we touch the world, like the texture of the world. So keep this in mind as we are reading our affirmation. So the affirmation is from the fifth chakra. And the fifth chakra is our throat chakra, our Vishuddha chakra, how we communicate and express ourselves. Check out that healing symbol. Eww. Okay, it's number 62. And it's so funny, this wasn't I just talking about eights? And here we go. We have a 62 that adds up to an eight. <clears throat> Everything that I do promotes my self-confidence. Everything that I do promotes my self-confidence. Excellent. So, ah, yeah. So do you remember when I was talking about, you know, letting those, letting the people go in that, you know, are no longer necessary for us to have in our life because everyone is here for a reason, a season, 
or a lifetime, right? That's what everybody says. So if you know the reason someone is in your life, and you know that it's just meant to be temporary, you know that it's meant to be a lesson, the, um, one of, uh, I feel like one of the things that we are meant to learn in that is how to let go, how to let go of those people that we know who are here to just teach us a lesson and to be temporary and to not attach ourselves to them. And so that's one of the hardest things that <laughs> we have to learn um, because it's definitely not something that is taught to us. We're not taught how to not be attached to people. We're not taught how to, you know, see people, you know, just as a lesson so that we can move on to, you know, bigger, better, our best, highest good. And I just saw 555 on the video count, which is about, you know, making those changes, making the changes that we need in order to live our best, highest, greatest expression. So I love it so much. And let's read the meaning. So number 62, everything that I do promotes my self-confidence, meaning whether you are successful or whether one plan or the other misfires is not important. What counts is that you learn as much as possible from both alternatives so that you can do it better the next time. If you consciously experience yourself in your actions, then you will quickly notice what you can do and how you are able to learn something new in a better way. Then there is no more, I can't do it. Instead, there is only, I'm still in the process of doing and understanding this increasingly better. This mental attitude is the secret of people who have an unshakable self-assurance and are so successful as a result of it. Right now, start assuming this attitude in an increasingly better way and understanding it in an increasingly deeper manner. Healing Stone, Malachite, and Mookite. Fragrance Essence, Neroli, the box flower is beech and pine together. So, yeah. Ah, so, yeah, tuning back in. Everything that I do promotes my self-confidence. And thinking about how that applies to the secondary chakras, the palms of the hands. And this is about, you know, when we are in our the physical world, knowing that you know, doing the things that help to promote our self-confidence. So, you know, switching our mindset is something that we can do in order to, you know, help and grow our self-confidence. So I feel too that this is like very, um, this could be third chakra as well, solar plexus chakra. And like you see the yellow in here. So like, this card here has yellow, orange, and green. And so it's like solar plexus, heart chakra, and sacral chakra. So it's like two, three, and four, like right there in the middle. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I just had to, it made me burp. Um, right there in like the middle, like from like our belly button up to the center of our chest, like that whole area right there. And that's like, cleaning I felt like cleaning that out like opening that up clearing what doesn't need to be there and allowing ourselves to start from the beginning like before I had started the video the song back at one popped into my head um like who sings that song Brian McKnight maybe back at one it's yeah it's from like the 90s so yeah but um I was like just like I just kept singing and I was like why did this song just pop into my head and it's about like I feel like that popped into my head just for the message of start back at one like when we are trying to change our mindset when we're wanting to grow and do something different start at one start at today start at right now that's all you have to do is start at like the very basics and then allow yourself to move forward and grow because there is nothing wrong with getting a fresh start starting with fresh eyes starting 
with a clean slate and then allowing yourself to build what it is that you want to on top of that. So, uh, all right, beautiful people. So this has been our affirmation for this super fun Sunday fun day. <laughs> I hope you all found something that resonates with you. And if you did, please remember to hit that thumbs up. Whether or not you decide to subscribe to the channel is up to you. There is no pressure here. But if you are subscribed to the channel, thank you so so very much for allowing me to be part of your journey. I love you. I appreciate you all. And I will see you in your next one or actually in the next one. <laughs>